The Phantom Wheels, Haunted Reflections Chapter 1, The Mysterious Purchase Emma had always dreamed of owning a car, and finally, her wish came true when she stumbled upon a used car for sale at a local store. It was an old vehicle, but it had an inexplicable charm that drew her in. Excitement and anticipation filled her as she made the purchase and drove the car home. However, it wasn't long before strange occurrences began to haunt her. As she glanced into the rearview mirror, she caught glimpses of sinister-looking men in the backseat, their eyes filled with an eerie intensity. Each time she turned around to confront them, there was no one there. Emma couldn't shake the feeling that something was terribly wrong with her newfound vehicle. Chapter 2, Uncovering Dark Secrets Emma's unease grew with each passing day. The images in the rearview mirror became more vivid and haunting, tormenting her mind day and night. Determined to uncover the truth behind these sinister apparitions, she delved into the car's history. To her horror, she discovered that the vehicle had been involved in a tragic accident in which a man had lost his life. Fear gripped Emma's heart as she realized that the men she saw were not figments of her imagination but the lingering spirits of the car's haunting past. She felt a mix of sympathy and terror for the lost soul that seemed to be trapped within the vehicle, desperate to make its presence known. Emma was now caught in a web of supernatural phenomena, unsure of how to break free. Chapter 3, The Haunting Escalates the apparitions grew bolder, their presence felt even when Emma wasn't in the car. They haunted her dreams, their faces etched into her mind like macabre portraits. No matter where she turned, they seemed to follow, their ethereal forms a constant reminder of the tragedy that had taken place. Desperation consumed Emma as she sought help from experts in the paranormal. They confirmed her worst fears, her car had become a conduit between the living and the dead. The accident had awakened a malevolent force, and the spirit of the deceased was now seeking vengeance. Emma knew she had to find a way to appease the restless soul, but time was running out. Chapter 4, Desperate Measures Emma's life had become a relentless nightmare, consumed by the malevolent spirits haunting her car. Determined to find a solution, she turned to ancient rituals and occult books in a last-ditch effort to free herself from their torment. After countless hours of research, Emma discovered a ritual that claimed to banish vengeful spirits. It involved a complex series of steps, from gathering specific ingredients to reciting incantations in a sacred space. With trembling hands, she gathered the necessary items and prepared for the ritual that would determine her fate. Chapter 5, Breaking the Chains The atmosphere was thick with anticipation as Emma performed the ritual, her heart pounding in her chest. She followed each step meticulously, her voice trembling as she chanted the incantations passed down through generations. The air grew heavy, and the room seemed to vibrate with unseen energy. Suddenly, a blinding light burst forth, enveloping Emma and the car. The spirits, once menacing and terrifying, now appeared ethereal and fragile. They writhed and wailed, their tortured faces etched with agony. Emma's determination surged, and with a final surge of energy, she commanded the spirits to depart and find peace. As the light faded, Emma felt an overwhelming sense of relief wash over her. The car, once a vessel of malevolence, was now cleansed and free from the haunting specters. She had successfully broken the chains that bound her to the tormented past. From that day forward, Emma no longer saw the horrifying figures in her rearview mirror. The nightmare ceased, and she finally regained control over her life. The haunted car, now devoid of its grim history, 
became a symbol of her triumph over darkness. With a newfound appreciation for the power of the supernatural, Emma vowed to never forget the chilling lesson she had learned. The encounter with the spirits would forever be a reminder of the thin veil that separates the living from the dead, and the importance of respecting the forces that linger beyond our realm. The End